we are coming to interview Kenneth and um, he will mention his full name and uh, where he's coming from and actually what motivated him to go into pottery business. What is your name? My name is Esiri Kenneth. From? From Obwasi, but currently I'm staying at Aguna Kwanta. So what brought you to Aguna Kwanta? I came here to do my national service and after the service uh, I had the opportunity to work for two years and after that contract after that contract I decided to to venture into perfect business. So which year did you complete your national service? I completed around twenty eighteen. Okay. So when did you actually start the pottery farm? Last two years. Last two years. Yes. Okay. What is the name of your business or your company? Africhick Farms. Africhick Farm. Okay. What is your role in the business? I am the CEO and at the same time the supervisor. So I handle the managerial aspect of it and at the same time the technical aspects. So anytime I give instructions to my guys, what's the need for them to do, things that they need to do. Okay. Okay. Are you a graduate? Yes, of course. From which institution? From Tarabi Technical University. Wow, currently called TTU. TTU. Good. I think this is a plus to uh, Takradi Technical University, right? Yes, of course. Okay, good. Why did you choose this line of business? As in, why did you choose pottery over opening an engineering business? Okay, so actually, I love nature. And I always, I am always excited to see bears around. So I thought it nice to make money from from my passion. So meaning that you wasted money in doing engineering? Not at all. You know, engineer, engineering basically opens your critical thinking, like how to go about things. But it's also a, a, a add up. It's also a add up in okay. life. Why didn't you look for a job just like someone else who has just graduated from the tertiary uh, and you choose to go into business? No, okay. I believe in entrepreneurship and I always say, start with what you have, do what you can do, invest what you get, then you can grow bigger and bigger or build bigger and bigger businesses. So, with this motivating word, help you to establish a, a poultry farm. So, what motivated you to go into the, uh, to go into agri business and precisely poultry farm? Poultry farm. Okay. Yeah. So, looking at the current situation that we have in this country, we spend almost getting to four, one seven zero, which is. 170 million dollars to import frozen chicken so see it as an opportunity for for the youth to to get into this business i took it upon myself to just start so that we can reduce the pressure on the city and the inflation that we all are complaining about and i think this is the time some graduates or the youth also need to embark on this exercise for us to change the name of our motherland or our country. How many workers do you have? Currently two. Two? Okay. I hope they are well paid. Yes, of course. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> um, what is the budget range that one can base on to venture into pottery business? Okay, so basically, if you are saying pottery business in Ghana, we have uh, three types. One, we have the backyard, uh, the deep letter system, and the cage system. All of these three 
comes with its cost it depends let me say you are starting from from nothing let me say a zero dollar one you can start with a backyard farming meaning you can raise a small structure with a bamboo ask for friends who have the, the best then you start with it but if let me say you have a, you have the capital around ten thousand to fifteen thousand you can go in for two hundred to three hundred bears and i think it's a good start because i started with four hundred and now i have moved three hundred percent of what initially i started with. so what's the current number of bears you have currently i'm having 1600 bears you need to get a neat place or you need to get a structure where anytime they want to lay they will go in and lay as we used to say in our local language akukon to bedroom and also it makes the eggs clean collected all the eggs from the where they lay you need to arrange them in crates you need to pack them in crates so after packing them in, in crates they are ready for sale and this is where you make your money after feeding them giving and out of the 1600 best uh, what is the number of crates you get per day when they are laying at 85 percent i get almost 42 crates per day how did you raise the capital to venture into poultry business okay so from the scratch initially coming from school i had the thoughts and it was written down i had the thought that i will be venturing into this business so the letter that i saved from my national service allowance and after the national service i had the opportunity to get a contract which was two years so after the two years duration i also saved small so with that little little savings i was able to start up with uh, for this 400 base so all the monies come from my national service and the three years contracts but but as a beginner you can't borrow from a family member a friend to start it all depends on your business plan and what you, you have aimed to achieve how profitable is the poultry business? The poultry business is very lucrative business. With the layers every day, you'll be selling eggs. So we made money from, we made all the money from selling the eggs. And after, let me say two years, you will also sell the, the, the spent layers. So this is how we make our money. So is the egg in high demand? yes of course currently it's in very very high demand so are you able to meet your clients your customers no right now i can't even supply my my customers all your customers all my customers are you working somewhere else at the same time managing the business or you are doing this solely as a, a graduate oh okay so this this business is my full-time job so early in the morning i just wake up either i will feed them myself or i instruct or i will instruct my guys to feed them you will fill the drinkers and after filling the drinkers we wait let me say 8 a.m we will start picking the eggs from 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 the lane lane box so meaning that after national service you didn't go around looking for a job no after my two years contract after my two years contract i just moved in as a full-time poultry farmer okay, so this is the time for feeding actually we have two times and with the two times 
for me i free them one at 5 30 a.m so around 5 30 to 6 a.m you need to give them their food and the other one to is around 12 p.m to 1 o'clock p.m i'm feeding them with layer mash one when it comes to feeding and giving them water i don't joke with it because this is a huge capital and most of the times you the farmer you need to engage yourself you need to do everything or at times too you will feel tired but most of the times I, I do these things on my own feeding them giving them water making sure the pen is clean you don't have time and your investor what i would say is you need to understand the job so that if you come around and your boys are not doing it well you can teach them you can't you can't be at a farm at all times you need to get a farm supervisor or someone a technocrat who has deep understanding about poultry to assist you to teach the guys on their routine jobs so anytime you see all your drinkers are empty you need to throw them for my advice i think you need to get your own plan you need to visit the farm get your hand on training and after everything you need to sit down and see where you can cut costs like the drinkers the feeders how will you ask yourself questions this guy is doing it this way how will i do it to make make it effective it won't change anything so you get you arrive at the same destination but how will i do it in a way that i can minimize the cost because it's very lucrative business but cost very costive very costive so looking at it you need to balance it those who are entering into the business can i make a successful business and at the same time at a, which will come at a cheaper cost if you are a beginner there is no need for you to waste much money on buying new feeders i think we have local manufactured you can do this on your own it's just a frighter rubber and with a frighter rubber it's six cities with the six cities you cut it into two you design your own feeder as compared to the one they are selling it at the market the market one is 90 ghana cities as today as compared to this with six cities with these six cities you can get two feeders from it so i think this is cheaper and it's it will save you more as compared to buying it from from the market as a beginner i think you need to develop a new way of doing things which will save you so now it's time for cleaning and as normally we do this in every three weeks to one month so now now our our old sawdust we need to replace it with new one so this one goes on routine it's a routine tax and every three to one month three weeks to one month you need to change yeah the sawdust in japan and with the with this one is with changing the dust in the pen is associated with biosecurity it helps to reduce the bacteria being built in the in the pen and also it gives the best healthy living it makes them healthier what are the challenges in poultry business and what are the challenges you are currently facing okay so currently i think one is how to get feed how to get feed and two is bird flu but with the bird flu i think with proper biosecurity system you can't overcome it meaning every morning you need to wake up you fumigate the area before you move to your daily routine and with the food shortage at times too you need to go for feed hunting before you can get get some for your best so i think basically these are the two challenges i am facing in this business right. can you break down 
the activities as in pottery activities. You need to put in the request from the supplier. So the day that they will hatch the bears, you need to go in for. At the time, you need to also prepare a breeder house. Breeder house basically means they are only day old. So you need to get a place that can hold them. So basically the breeder house, you need to get in close area with proper lighting system, with enough heat, let me say, basically you can use charcoal in corpus or gas and burner then from there you set all your baby you set all your chick feeders and drinkers and you fumigate the area so the brooding stage starts from day one to week six so after day one to week six you have finished with the brooding you now move to to the grower stage the grower stage also will last from between seven week to 12 week then it will mature to pullet pullet basically means transition period from grower stage to laying cycle so pullet now their breast will develop, their egg chain will develop, and that place is a critical stage. That stage is very, very critical. You need to inject them with the new castle. Then from there, they turn into layers and they will start laying. So let me say, basically, from 20th week, they will start dropping eggs highlights on the types of capital we have in the pottery business basically we have two types okay. that's the setup capital and the operational capital. Setup capital is the money that you will need to buy land build a structure where your workers will stay where your feed you store your feed and and the best too so these are the set up capital but let me say if you don't have the financial muscle you can rent a place to cut down this set up capital then you focus on the operational capital the operational means the money that you will, be need, you will need to run the business that is the money that you will need to buy the feeders the feed the uh, medicine, the all drugs, the vaccines, and pay your workers. So this is the, the operational capital. Would you recommend pottery business to the tertiary graduates that have completed and they're in the house looking for a job? And those that are yet to complete, will you recommend pottery business to them? <laughs> let me see the place that we are coming from in the world i don't think sitting down for for mana to rain from heaven will be appropriate you need to take your destiny in your own hands and start doing something you will never know the little things and effort that you'll be making well one day i will pay off so it's a matter of just starting so are you saying this should go into pottery business yes of course with all the challenges i think this the storm will be over though we have challenges but the storm will be over is there a future for agriculture or agri business in this Eastern. country called ghana yes of course all depends on the on the policies that we are having or the government is making or the government is making because one we are saying we are currently we are shortage of maize and now we do export maize to nigeria so how can poultry farmers survive so i think it all depends on on the policies that that um, our leaders formulate need to take and i think our leaders need to take critical look of the things that 
we are into so what message do you have to the unemployed graduates and those in school what message do you have for them okay so for unemployment i don't think there is anything called unemployment because one you have been in school you have been exposed so with a little knowledge and exposure you need to start doing something you need to get things done in a small way because you are not having the financial muscle you can't start big but small small way by the time you realize you will have a 